Okay, hello, chief users. This is going to be a temporary, one time only library tutorial for X15 uh, because we've got some fixes coming our way. And there's gonna, they're going to have to release some kind of patch because they've got a couple things broken here that, um, that need to be fixed before this is, this is prime time ready. So stuff that worked in beta 2 uh, is not working in the official release. So keep in mind, um, a few things won't be working quite right. But let me go over a few things, a few tricks for you people that are new to X15 and don't really know how to use the library. It might be very frustrating for you. And rest assured, the library is actually a really powerful tool now. So keep that in mind. A couple things we'll go over. One is, well, let's just go over the different areas in the library browser. You can always get to this in your help section, but we've obviously got our search bar. That's that's typical. We have a back arrow so that can we can go back in history or forward in history. We also have uh, include web results. So when this is checked and you make a search, it's going to search online as well. And that's a really powerful tool. Now keep in mind, I have mine unchecked. That's for a specific reason. You're going to get faster search results if we're not also trying to include web results because this of course changes based on your internet connection speed. And then we've got our advanced search or where we can set filters up. And then we've got a drop down arrow where we can select some of our saved filtered search results. And then we have right here, we're showing filtered uh, searches, okay? Or uh, let's see, filtered options, I guess you would call this. And then we've got our typical folders, our filtered results, our preview panel. And if you right click anywhere in here, you can also include tags or details. So a couple additional things that we can add here. We can uh, preview in tile mode or we can preview in list mode. There's a couple of reasons why you might want to change that here and there on the fly. Uh, we can get to our settings here, but this is the same thing as right clicking in one of these windows. And then we have include subfolders or not, or search subfolders or not. This specifically is not working in official release. Now let's go ahead and just dive into uh, creating some searches. Now, First thing to recognize here is we're not gonna be searching the way that we used to search, which is maybe we were just searching for toilet and pressing enter. Well, that just gets you anything with the search attribute toilet or anything that includes toilet in the name of the fixture itself. Instead, what we're gonna do is search toilet and then before we hit enter, go ahead and scroll down here and you're gonna see a number of different things. Now we've got folders that are called toilets or we can designate a symbol type, which is a toilet. And this will limit our results to the type that is classified as a toilet, meaning that we're getting to more specific results a lot faster. Now, if we include web results, we're also gonna see that this expands past what I just have in my library, what's downloaded. And we see this icon on things that are in catalogs that I do not currently have downloaded and installed in my chief architect. If I were to right click on one of these items, we have the option to download catalog or if I was to click and drag this into my plan view, it would also give me the option to download that catalog. Now I'm gonna uncheck, choose filtered web results. Now let's get into something a little bit more specific. Now this added the filter, but we also have this right here, which is, this was my search filter by just typing in toilet and hitting enter. Keep in mind, every time we hover over one of these and click, it's going to eliminate that filter, okay? So if I click on this, it's gonna eliminate that filter. I'll tell you why this is powerful. Let me get to a fixture class or a type that is furniture. And I'm going to go symbol type other furniture. Now from here, we can see we've got a bunch of results here, but maybe I just wanna search for sofas. Now I can do a text search that is a sofa. Now we're limiting to very specific results very quickly. We're getting to our results a lot faster because we've got multiple filters. If I hover over this other furniture and just leave sofa, we're gonna see that we get a lot more results here. And so some of these things might not be classified as the type of furniture that is a sofa. Now let's get into some more advanced searches, if you will. Let's go ahead and type in style palette. And we can see here we can type style palette and we can see that I've got a bunch of different style palettes here. If I click on this drop down from my user catalog and get into another drop down, say my shop for instance, now it's including only style palettes from my shop. Of these style palettes, maybe I have a search result that I want to look for 
that's called RDCAB. And of those, maybe I wanna search RDCAB Painter instead. It's gonna replace that previous search uh, text, but it re uh, that leaves the style palette filter intact. Now I'm getting to a very specific set of tools that I'm looking for. Now if I click on this advanced search, we're gonna see it's already got my existing search loaded in here so that if I wanted to, I could create a new filtered search for that specific search parameter called RDCAB Painter Shop. Press OK. And now I've created that. That's a new saved filter result. Let me click Done. That way, if I have both of these filters unchecked and I go back to my dropdowns for filters, we're gonna see here RDCAB Painter Shop. There we go, it's going to enact that search. Well, it should anyway. So here's another uh, thing that's being broken, if you will. So if I just hit this X out and I click on that search, should have enacted that search. So a couple little problems here that, are, that aren't quite ironed out. So keep in mind that these things will work in the future as they figure this out. So another method I can look for here, let's just type in Kohler and we can get to the manufacturer Kohler. So anything that's manufactured by Kohler. So now we've got one filtered result. Now let's look at something like this. Let's go purist and we can, you guessed it, we can choose this folder. So now I'm limiting to that purist folder and look at that. I'm getting to a search result very, very quickly. I'm getting to just what I want specifically. So. A number of really powerful things with this new filtered search result tool. I can, of course, uncheck this folder, get back to a different purist folder if I want to. A number of different things here. So let's go through a couple of other searches you might do. Now, keep in mind, we can always search different types. We can search all kinds of things. If you're curious about what you can search, get into that advanced search again. And you can see here in the other attributes sections, as I uh, expand this, is that we have all of these different object attributes. You can look for specifically 3D solids, architectural blots, etc. You can look for specific styles. You can look for manufacturers, symbol type. This is a big one if you're looking specifically for, say, a cooktop, for instance. Symbol options. This is mainly uh, in the electrical classification of symbols. And then symbol placement. Maybe you're looking for things that are going to be cabinet mounted or ceiling mounted or inserts into corner cabinet or uh, one great one if you're looking for decor and you maybe want um, sits on base cabinet or table. Let's take a look at what that does. So we're gonna type in sits on and look at this, sits on base cabinet or table. So now I'm getting filtered results of items that can be placed on top of a countertop. How cool is that? Kind of an interesting thing here, so. And then on top of that, maybe you want to put, you know, decor or something like that or a pan. But that, we'll just look for a pan. There we go. So very quickly, I get to a bunch of different pans and these all sit on top of a cabinet. Perfect. Look at some of these other ones that were in here. Symbol type again, maybe we want to just look for a cooktop. So let's just take a look at this. Let's X out these existing filters and I'm going to type in cooktop. And I want symbol type cooktops. And this is really simple. We're gonna to get to a bunch of different cooktops here. Now maybe I want a specific manufacturer. Let's include web results. And what are we looking at here? Well, we can't right click and get uh, details from this, but if we right click in the window and show the details panel, we're gonna see that this is made by Sub-Zero. So what if we type in Sub-Zero? Now we're getting only cooktops from Sub-Zero. So again, another really powerful search result. Now, what if we want to go back to some of these older searches? We can hit that back arrow, get back to some of these previous searches. This goes back level by level. So it goes back, you know, even through the different filters that you've gone through and searched. Uncheck that details window. Now you can lock your different Windows here if you like, if you've come up with an arrangement that you like, try out the different modes here, try out the different, like the list mode might be helpful. I personally like the grid mode, but sometimes the list mode's helpful if I need to see, you know, a full name um, and not these truncated names. You can hold your control key and mouse wheel up to get a, a different preview size here. That's really helpful. So keep that in mind. You can drag and redock these windows in different arrangements. So that's helpful as well. 
And in the future, we're going to be able to uh, be able to use this search subfolders section here. So hopefully that'll just help you out in the meantime while you're learning this the library tricks and tips. Um, but I think once you get used to it, this is a really fast method for getting into stuff quickly. I've been working in a lot of projects lately, and yes, I'm a power user, and from the power user perspective, I was frustrated at first with these tools, and now it seems to be really, really fast. Um, one uh, couple last clothing, uh, closing thoughts is that you can click on different items here and add tags to them. Now, I'm not gonna be adding a ton of tags because there's been a promise that we're gonna get um, group editing of search attributes in the future, and tags kind of uh, fill up um, a window, if you will, um, but you can manage tags from here. You can add a bunch of additional tags. You can add tags to a bunch of different items at the same time by group selecting them. That's all kind of powerful stuff, um, so that's pretty helpful. And then another thing that you might um, notice that's a little different, if we right click, we've got this move to folders option. And that's another big one. Uh, we can move things to specific folders by searching or just navigating through our catalogs. So that's a really powerful way of getting through all this. All right, hopefully that was helpful.